All right, hey guys, it's Noe. Um, I'm okay, I'm gonna turn this away so it's not like shining right in my eyes. I just don't want it to be dark for people. Uh, I forgot. Okay, to and I've gotta clean the screen. It's a little what? It's a little anyway dingy. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess since I threw some shots at you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So first of all, well, let, let me let me, let me, let me I, say something I, about this the video. Is my video. Let's say something about the video. So uh, I asked about the art scene of uh, Tacoma, and I was talking about like public art, and you know, I was talking about different things. But then she's like, "Well, there is, it is kind of like an artsy city," and I'm like, "Oh, really?" And so she had like was telling me a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, "I never did know that." I said you should have been in the video, but anyhow, so this is why she's doing her video. Thank you for mansplaining that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll throw shade right back at you. <laughs> so anyway, I was not, I didn't know he was doing a live video. Um, and also I was making breakfast because yes, I, yes, I did wake up late because Zeta did not go to bed until like four in the morning. So I was up with her. That's why I went to bed late. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to do a video and talk a little bit about the, um, the art scene here in Tacoma. So, um, I actually, I really enjoy the arts. Um, I am not really an artistic person, but I definitely enjoy going to, um, the theater, music theater and that kind of thing. Um, and I like going to museums and stuff. So there is actually a pretty extensive uh, art scene here in Tacoma. Um, Herschel mentioned, I think, Pantages and Rialto. Um, we do have um, several different theaters. Um, there is the uh, theater district here. I'm, I'm also pulling some information up so I can talk to you a little bit about, uh, about it more. So there's the Pantages, there's the Rialto Theater, and Theater on the Square. Um, so these are all like Broadway center theaters because they're all right on Broadway here in Tacoma. So we do get big name shows. We get shows like Kinky Boots and Spam a lot and stuff like that that come down here to Tacoma. Um, in terms of like, uh, if theater isn't your thing, we have the Tacoma Dome, which hosts huge amounts of, uh, you know, like it's it's a regular concert venue. Um, and the, the cool thing is, is because a lot of the big names end up going to Seattle, they go to Key Arena, sometimes they go to CenturyLink Field, but because of Key Arena's uh, construction and the remodel that they're gonna be having uh, done, I think towards the end of this year, mm -hmm. um, all that it's going to be shut down so all of the big name shows that would normally go to key arena we're going to be getting them here in tacoma so <laughs> um so that's that's a big that's a big piece is um we'll be getting a lot of the big name stars but um we already do like katie perry was here back in february um bruno mars was here i think he did shows in um I think he did shows in Seattle as well as down here. So Tacoma Dome is kind of the destination as our concert venue here. And then in terms of um, museums and glasswork, so um, we do have a lot of jail, Dale Chihuly. So we do have the Tacoma Museum of Glass, um, which is really cool. Like if you've seen any pictures of the skyline of Tacoma, there is like the, the conical silver building um and that is the tacoma uh museum of glass and i have not been in it yet um but i have been told like there's a lot of different artists different different glass work um dale chihuly is from the area but there's actually not a lot of his work on display there um what we do have is we have the glass bridge which is awesome and i think we may have done videos about this before but Again, if you've seen pictures of Tacoma, there are these two uh, structures, glass structures, and I think they look like rock candy, you know? So like as a kid, you bought the rock candy on the stick. So there's these two blue uh, sculptures that are that look like blue rock candy. And right where that area is, there's a whole bridge that you walk underneath and there's displays on the sides and then all above you, I don't know why I'm looking up, but all above you are just, is just all of different pieces of Chihuly's work. Um, and then on the sides, there's all different vases or vases, I guess at that point, cause they're expensive. Um, 
and all of his work. Um, I thought the whole glass museum was all of Dale's stuff. No, no. It's actually um, most, there's, there's actually, so the glass museum has a lot of other different glass work. The Tacoma Art Museum actually has a larger selection of Chihuly's work. The cool thing is, though, with Tacoma is there is Chihuly's work in a lot of different places. And I know it's funny because growing up in the Midwest, um, when the medical school at IUPUI, when the IU School of Medicine, like, opened up a new atrium, they got a Chihuly sculpture. So Chihuly sculptures are all over the U.S., but I had no idea growing up, but we knew like, oh, this is a big thing because he's he's like the glass guy, right? He's the American glass guy. And so we had a Chihuly sculpture in the School of Medicine and I used to give tours. So we talk about that. The Children's Museum in Indianapolis has a Chihuly sculpture. Well, now we live in the land of Chihuly. So he, um, at the UW campus in our library, we have a Chihuly sculpture in the uh, courthouse uh, downtown in Tacoma. There's a large uh, display sculpture. So there is actually a lot of places where you can see um, Chihuly pieces uh, around the city for free. Hey, Miji, or yeah, Miji. Um, and uh, so that that is really cool because you're not having to pay to go into a museum to see this guy's amazing, excellent work. Um, now, Seattle does have the, um, there's a over by the Space Needle, but you got to pay buku bucks to get into that. So you have all this stuff on display for free for the people of Tacoma and the visitors of Tacoma. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was the uh, Tacoma Art Museum, the TAM is actually in the process of a huge expansion um, and it's called the Benaroya Wing. And this is actually opening, the public opening date, public opening day is January 19th. So a couple of months from now, this will be finished. Um, Benaroya family is actually a Seattle family and they are one of the biggest, um, they have a gift, They're, they gave a gift of 353 works of art. Um, most of this is all glass. And so with that donation, gift, whatever, and this expansion, the Tacoma Art Museum is gonna be like the destination for glass, um, glass pieces, glass artistry. And some of those may be Chihuly's, but it's just this family, a very wealthy family who collected all these pieces through the years. And then they decided to give to the Tacoma Art Museum. So we're gonna be like the, the Tacoma Art Museum is gonna be the destination for um, glass artists and glass pieces. So yes, the, the TAM actually has more Chihuly work than the actual uh, Museum of Glass in Tacoma does. So um, there's that. The other museums that are um, available downtown, we have, let's see, what else is there? There's the Children's Museum, which we've done videos from there. Um, there's the Washington State History Museum, which we haven't been to yet. Um, and there's the uh, LeMay Car Museum, which again, that was a private collection of um, the LeMay family that has all these cars. We haven't been in there yet, but that is over by the Tacoma Dome. And that's like a kind of looks like a silver slug. I think that's what people call it around here. Um, and that is just chocked full of old cars and his private collection. So there's a lot of things to do in, um, in terms of being able to view art. There are actually a lot of uh, glass studios down here where you can attempt to blow your own glass and um, give that a try, which I, I want to. I guess when the girls are older, um, I'll you know try to get them into some of these places. Uh, and then um, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of, um, I don't know how to ex explain it, but I feel like Tacoma is a pretty artist friendly city. Um, I think Proctor and Rustin kind of cater to that. And when I say like artist, I don't necessarily mean like, let me wear my beret and let me have my, my easel and paint palette, but it's more an expression, um, an artistic expression and your ability to be free and vibrant and, um, kind of hipsters, but 
just I mean because like I I have friends like I have I have a friend in New Mexico um, and she is very much she's very artsy um, and but I wish I mean she's she's older so I would not consider her a hipster but she's just she's an artist type um, so there is there is that like there's a place um, that I discovered on one of our walks I think it's near Opera Alley and it's called uh, dazed and reused and it's all about like upcycling and recycling and recreating and turning different things into an art form um, again that's not necessarily a hipster thing it's just that's your creativity and that's your w way out um, and so they they do like rock painting um, and uh, mandala painting on rocks and shells and um, turning little rocks into different things and stuff like that. So um, there's a lot of that. There's a place right on Pack Ave that's called Tinkertopia. And that whole place is uh, dedicated to, um, basically it's, it looks like somebody's garage kind of. There's like bins of nuts and bolts. There's bins of carpet pieces. There's bins of puzzle pieces. There's doll parts. There's all kinds, everything that you can imagine that somebody would save it's there at Tinkertopia and they have kits that you can go in and buy and put a project together. Um, so I think in terms of the art scene, the art scene is pretty vibrant here. Um, and there are a lot of public pieces of art on display to view and to take in. But also if you are an artist, I think this is a pretty artist friendly city. Um, and you're able to kind of have that vibe and get that vibe. So I think I, yeah, in Opera Alley. Um, and there are some art galleries. I'm not super clear on where all the art galleries are. Um, but, hi. Mama, what? Okay. So we're live. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, what else did I want to mention? Uh, oh, and then there's also another museum is the Foss Waterway hey. Seaport, which is on the waterfront um, downtown. Um, I lived in Tacoma as a child in the late 80s. A lot of art done for beginners at YMCA. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't even really consider the YMCA. So there's um, there's that, too. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Hang on. Cool. We can get this done right here. Um, let's see. What else was I wanting to mention? What other questions do you have about the art scene, maybe? Um, the one thing that um, there's only one place that I know of um, is like a, a pottery studio. And that, I think, is in Point Ruston. Um, but, you know, there's that... Uh, there's that as an option. There is a paint and sip studio mm -hmm. downtown too. So they do different nights. I actually had a coworker that went to that. Um, you pay a fee, you get, get a glass of wine, and then you're guided through um, painting a picture. Um, so there's that kind of thing. Uh, Artist Craftsman Supply up by Opera Alley in that area, um, which I think we've done videos from. I love that place. Um, has all kinds of crafty uh, materials and supplies. Um, the cool thing too is every third Thursday in Tacoma, the museums are open for extended hours and they're free during that time. Um, so what I've always been wanting to do, maybe someday we'll get to do this, um, is, you know, like connect with Hershey, we'll do a happy hour and then hit up a museum for a couple of hours as like a nice little, um, uh, inexpensive date night. Um, but yeah, so the third Thursday of every month the museums are open from five to eight or five to nine and they're free. So, um, that's a nice, uh, a nice thing too. So you just have a random hand waving at you. Um, so anyway, I think that, oh, um, arts on the app. That's what I wanted to mention. Yes. Um, so every year, I think every summer, I don't know, it's maybe July-ish, 
I think it happens in July because I think we were gone when it happened. But on 6th Ave, they do arts on the Ave. And so it's a whole big street festival. So they block the streets and there's vendors and people can, um, you know, artists can peddle their, their wares and that kind of thing. Um, if there's galleries, they're open and all of the art and stuff is on display and able to be purchased. Also, when I've gone to the Broadway Farmer's Market, there's a lot of different local Mama. artists um, selling their things and stuff too. So, I mean, in any city, you're going to find artists, but I would say Tacoma is a pretty artist-friendly city. What? Why are you so sad? Do you like to do art? Huh? Oh, I'm missing. What is my profession? I didn't know this. Noe is more of an artsy person. I am more of an artsy person. Um, I work in higher education. So I work, um, I work at the university. What? 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 But I am a, I am definitely a fan of the arts. I don't get to, hey, what? Okay. I'm going to get, hey, Zoe, hang on, guys. <laughs> Can you take my computer and find Baby Shark for her? Yeah. It's on the tablet. Okay, well, here, you want Baby Shark? Okay, sister's got Baby Shark for you. There you go. And then can you close the door? Yeah. Close the door, please. Close the door, please. Okay, sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, so uh, I don't get to participate in the arts as much as I'd like, um, but I think I, um, as the girls get older and as I have a little bit more free time, I definitely will participate more. I would love to go to a glass blowing studio. Uh, the art scene in Tacoma appears to be making a name. I'm in Austin visiting for the three-day weekend. I'm excited about the art scene here. Oh, cool. Um, don't know what Baby Shark is, but she loves it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't get me started on Baby Shark. <laughs> it's this silly song, and it has gained... Like, I knew the song from when I used to go to summer camp, and... Uh, then it just made it big in baby songs and now there's like techno versions that they actually play in the clubs and there's the baby shark challenge so if you're bored and you want mindless <laughs> viewing of omg what did i just watch just look up baby shark um yes and she loves all versions of it um yeah i've heard that austin uh has a pretty cool art scene um i i would imagine austin would have a lot of like of the hipster art and the kind of the reclaimed and upcycled and recreated um, kind of art, but I think that would be really cool. Um, let's see, yes. So yeah, um, any other questions or anything else about um, the art scene in Tacoma? Um, I think I touched on everything that I wanted to touch on, the um, arts on the Ave, the theaters. Um, do I consider Tacoma a hipster city? Um, that's a good question. I, I mean, okay, so Hershey and I were talking the other day and, um, oh, thank you. Uh, you know, if we could describe cities as people, I would describe Seattle as like a late, 20 something uh hipster uh male typically as a in in a tech position like that is seattle um at least downtown seattle that is the the personality of seattle um tacoma i would say is a hipster city but not in the sense that hipster is always used and i i <laughs> I feel like I'm being very cryptic, but I just feel like, so, okay. Um, we heard from the Travel Tacoma, which is the official, like, um, the Tacoma Convention's uh, visitor uh, bureau, whatever. Um, they came and talked to us um, because we always like to know how to best talk about our city to visitors. And um, so their whole thing is, uh, Tacoma is PNW unfiltered. 
And that's kind of like their new campaign um, that they're going with. And when I heard that, I was like, you know what? That really is true because like I can fully appreciate Tacoma for the hipster vibe, the uh, Pacific Northwest, you know, nature is our friend, um, down with the man kind of thing and kind of attitude like uh, that embodies the Pacific Northwest. Um, but it's not pretentious. And sometimes I think hipster gets that pretend hipster is the is the yuppie of the millennials like the yuppie was the is of the what the gen x generation um or gen y i don't know anyway yuppies were here and gone and now they're they're middle-aged and whatever <laughs> and i feel like hipster is now the yuppie term and so sometimes hipster is used in a bad way and sometimes hipster is used in a good way um but I think that yes, Tacoma is a pretty hipster friendly town. I mean, you have a lot of a lot of people and you know that love their craft beer and wear the flannels and the Birkenstocks and all of that. Um, I would describe it, yeah, it is closer to Portland, but more diverse than Portland. Um, so if that if that makes sense. But the whole notion of unfiltered, I can really glob onto that and I can really appreciate that because that's the one thing that I have appreciated about Tacoma versus Seattle is um, people are more real and more likely to be authentic. And I think that's, a, that's another good description about Tacoma is that uh, uh, Tacoma is authentic. Um, and so there's not really a whole lot of putting on airs. Like you're either gonna like us or you're not. And if you don't, great, we're not for everyone. Um, versus Seattle of like, oh yes, like we want everybody to like us and you know, yada, 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 but we're just gonna sweep all this other stuff under the rug. Um, and I don't feel like Tacoma really gives you that vibe. So if that, if that makes sense and if that gives you um, a good identifier. Let's see, did I miss anything else? Uh, all right. Anything else? I'm trying to think. Normally Hershey is always overtaking these videos in terms of like when we're talking about um, the different cities and stuff. So I'm kind of like, hmm, what do I do with all this time? Um, but anyway, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to probably sign off of here unless I get any last minute questions. Um, but hopefully these videos have helped to give you an idea of the differences between Seattle and Tacoma. Um, again, it's hard to describe the two. I mean, there are some people from Seattle that will never step foot down here in Tacoma. And that is totally fine because we are not for everybody. Um, let's see. I hear Seattle residents hate B residents. Um, can you explain that a little bit? Oh, hate new residents. Um, I would, ooh, the questions are coming in now. Okay. Um, they like me. Uh, so Seattle residents hate new residents. I, I mean, yes and no. Um, I almost would say that more about Tacoma than Seattle because Seattle so many people are transplants and so it's hard for you to be it, it would have been hard for us who we were transplants for us to be like oh here's more new people <laughs> you know but at the same time it's like well dang like more new people means the housing price goes goes up and all of that I mean we were totally priced out of uh, Seattle I mean people that uh, are in like professions like doctors and stuff are priced out. So, you know, it, it's yes and no. Um, I would say that Tacoma is almost more because they don't want people drifting down from Seattle. Um, and again, like <laughs> we were some of those people, but I definitely feel like Seattle suits us in our attitude and just how we are as a family more than aspects of Seattle did. But Tacoma doesn't want Seattle people just moving down here just because 
they can still commute to Seattle because there is a, a certain Seattle attitude. And like I said, the putting on airs, the pretentiousness, the, um, well, I'm a, I, you know, I work in tech and that kind of thing. And I'm not trying to knock everybody that works in tech. I'm not, I'm really not, but that is the overall like attitude and feel. So, um, but I think both cities, like we, part of what makes us really cool cities is the fact that we get people from all over the country and all over the world that bring new aspects to the cities. But at the same time with more people that creates more problems, more traffic, um, more uh, economic impacts in terms of housing and all of that. So um, there's my roundabout answer to that. Um, let's see. Any opinions on the cannabis culture? Uh, they are not really friendly. I think both cities don't want new residents. And do you believe most of Tacoma residents are military families that stay? Okay. So any opinions on the cannabis culture? Um, it's here. <laughs> I really, I don't know much. Um, I feel like there was a lot more... I felt like it was a lot more in your face in Seattle than it is down here. Um, you know, in Seattle, there was always a new dispensary opening up and it was always, you know, they have like the little spinny sign people. I don't know if you have those in, in your cities where you live, but there's like, they pay people to spin signs and they like stand on the street corners and they like are listening to music and they're just like jamming out with their sign like weed over here weed over here <laughs> like seriously or they have like the green incredible wavy guys like out in front of their store so it seemed like every time you went down the road there was a new dispensary opening up i have never been into a dispensary so i really can't speak too much about that um I will say that I do not smell it as much down here in Tacoma as I did in Seattle. Seattle, you could not go anywhere without smelling it. Um, and so with kids, I, like me personally, I don't really care, whatever. Um, but with kids walking down the street or walking with them anywhere, it's like I don't necessarily, I don't expose them to that personally. So I don't necessarily want them all to have to be exposed to that. So, um, but I don't know much other than that about it and that it's it's legal so um yeah maybe that should be maybe that should be something that we do some investigative stuff and we actually go into a dispensary sometime obviously it'd have to be if we have a babysitter um and go but i've never like i've never been into one i'm kind of intrigued in like how it works is it like going to a liquor store is it like you go up and they're like here's all the varieties what would you like um so i don't know so stay tuned. Maybe that will be a future future thing. Uh, do you believe most of Tacoma residents are military families that stay? Um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, so in the work that I do, I see a lot of people that have been have been discharged or retired from the military, and they do stay. However, a lot of other people that I've encountered, they just they're 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 from here like this is where they grew up and they didn't necessarily come from military families um so i can't i think it's probably a mix i think if the military base was not here do i feel that it would be as diverse of a city as it is probably not um I think that the military base has probably helped to contribute to a lot of that. But one of the populations that um, Hershey did not mention in his video in terms of diversity is we have a very, very large and vibrant, thriving um, Pacific Islander, like Polynesian community here. Um, so there is a very large community of Pacific Islanders and Polynesian, micro-Polynesian um, families and communities here. So that is a huge, huge population that I didn't see up in Seattle, but I definitely see down here. So, um, which I think is, is awesome. Um, so yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's a, it's, it's a fair amount, but that's not the whole, that's not like all the residents of Tacoma have been former military and have stayed here. Um, I've also known a lot of military that end up leaving. So um, we had some, we had some neighbors that the girls were the same age and they ended up leaving, um, I think to Arkansas or something like that. Um, so they ended up going back towards the east. Um, so yeah. 
Other questions? Wow, this has been going on for half an hour. I was not expecting to be doing a live stream for that long, but happy to, to help and give my opinion. Um, all right. I think that's about it for now. Um, I'm ready to get my day started at a uh, early time of two o'clock. <laughs> My videos, okay, your videos are always long. Okay, I'm not going to get into an argument uh, with you on our live stream. Anyway, um, okay, that's it for now. I'm going to sign off. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave any other questions down below of topics that you'd want us to cover. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get to those. Um, as always, thank you all for your support. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for an active live stream. Hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday. It is uh, Labor Day weekend. So go out, barbecue, celebrate, um, be safe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.